Hi. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I apologize. Well, I just said I'm just out filming some stuff. Oh, okay. Is there anything that we can do to help you? No, I know how to do it. I know how to film in public. I know what is this for. May I know? I'm sorry? May I know what is this for? No. Okay, and your name? You can't know that either. Well, you don't have my permission to be recording me either. So. Are you an attorney? Name. If you don't know, if you don't want to talk about it, then that's fine. But I just want to know what is the purpose of this recording, so I can assist you. But if you are, I don't need any assistance. Okay. Well, you have no, you have no permission of me to public myself or anybody in our firm. <laughs> Thank you. Guess what? I don't need your permission. Guess what? I'm a former client. You are a former client. Yeah. Okay, good. But I, Travis could come talk to me if he wants, or, or Jim Hoover could come talk to me because I'm happy for you to record me. You got a YouTube channel? You can put it up there? Well, I did ask, what can I do to help you? I, I don't need any help. I know how to record. So, but yes. So I'm a professional way. journalist and I know how to record in public. Well, yes, you know that very well that you have no permission. It does. I don't need permission. Okay, well, that's one you walk into public, ma'am, it's implied consent. Why don't you go talk to Bob Hoover on his big birthday party about that? Well, you know what? The same way that you don't want or to... Or why don't you go talk to Jim Hoover about the little chit chat that he had to a group of real estate brokers about getting Sharon Roper. I don't know who you are. My name's and... Susan Bassey. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you with the Hoover Kropoka Law Firm? I don't have to answer your questions. Oh, okay. Well, but you wanted me to answer yours. I so I'm a you. former client of yours, so I sure hope you're not going to do anything to harm me because that would be a violation of the professional rules of conduct. Oh, we're going to lock the door. Okay. You shouldn't have glass offices if you don't want people to see in. I need some direction. Uh, Miss Bassey is here, and Miss Bassey is being Miss Bassey, and I caught her on camera turning on her camera slash video function on her iPad. I can't confirm she's not recording or not, but she is acting very Miss Bassey-like. If you can please give me a call, we can get some direction from you, what you want me to do. Uh, I'd be really appreciated. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. This is Susan Bassey. And for those of you who are regular viewers of this YouTube channel, you know that we investigate the police, lawyers, and the local courts. Specifically, we've been looking at the use of private judging. That's where attorneys are paid to act as judges in a divorce or custody case. And we've seen a great deal of real estate fraud where these private attorneys are selling off the family home and making a great deal of money. We also investigate the use of civil harassment and domestic violence orders, which appear to not provide any more safety for the public or the people seeking help, but serve more to make attorneys a great deal of money. And the abuses with these civil harassment orders are starting to get out of control, as you're about to see. When my own law firm called the police on me for recording in public when I was investigating issues related to their firm. Excuse me. You an attorney? Yeah. Were you just at Bob Hoover's yeah, yeah. party? Yeah. Um, I'm Susan Bassey. I'm an investigative reporter and I'm looking into some real estate fraud issues related to private judging. Are you, have you been involved in any private judging cases? No, not recently. With Hoover's firm? No, I haven't. What is your name? Patrick Standifer. Nice yeah. to meet you. And just as the Britney Spears conservator and probate case has taught us about the cruelty of our courts related to conservatorships, it will be the Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt divorce and custody case that teaches us about the cruelty of private judging. Angelina Jolie asked a sitting public court judge to disqualify a private judge who had been involved in her case and acting favorably to Brad Pitt and his attorneys. And no matter what you think of that divorce and how celebrities divorce and custody matters play out in the media, the issue of the private judge acting favorably and not making his disclosures is a matter of public interest that affects many middle-class families who get duped into these private judging cases, just as the Hoover 
Kripalka Law Firm tried to dupe me into back in 2013. With Hoover's firm? No, I haven't. What is your name? Patrick Standifer. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thank but, you. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming. Oh. I really appreciate it. You're getting handled right now, just yeah, so you know. It's okay. oh. I appreciate I you giving me your name. Yeah, I appreciate good. you talking to yeah, me. Good luck I'm an investigating okay. private judging and the use of it in family court. Okay, excuse me though. I, I'm leaving now. I'm going to talk to this person. Okay. okay, great. We're all in public. I'm just going to follow along behind. Well, you're kind of like stalking. It. No, that's I'm not, not stalking. That's not nice. Yeah, okay, um, I know. You shouldn't do that because it's not, it's not, it's not, not courteous to you. It's, Be courteous to us. I was courteous you. to you. Okay. You guys have any comments about private judging being used in family law cases or real estate fraud Hoover Kropalka's firms being investigated for any comment you'd like to make about that no comment justice police officers don't like being recorded in public. Attorneys don't like being recorded either. They wear their fancy suits, they hold out their education, and they attend their fancy parties, using nice words and acting politely, often while they are violating the law. And we will continue to investigate the relationships that are not disclosed, that are not posted on public court dockets, and that are secreted from the public in a matter that may make a difference when it comes to fairness in our local courts. Anybody want to talk about private judging, the use of it in family law cases your firm is making a lot of money on? Hi, loves. Did you get a call, a call for recording in public? Yes. Um, do you have your ID on you by any chance? I don't. You don't? Yeah, yeah. So did you used to work here? Or? I used to be a client here. Oh, okay. I paid them $65,000. Right now I'm investigating a missing persons case related to this firm. Okay. I'm also investigating public corruption and I'm investigating um, collusion with other attorneys related to private judging. Gotcha, okay. So you're kind of messing up my shots right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. And Who called you? Uh, was that Jim Hoover making that call? I'm not sure. Someone called us. Well, How do I spell your last name? B A S S I. And just Susan, like normal? Is it Susanna or it's Susan? Susan? Okay, with S. Yep. Am I being detained? Yes, you are. And for what purpose? Because you have a few restraining orders that have not been served yet. Ah. Uh, so we're trying to figure out if some of those restraining orders against the people in here, and that way we have to serve you. So we've got to stay away from these. Okay, I don't have any restraining orders against anybody that would be in there. Okay, well, we're here to figure that out. Okay, good. I'll go wait, and then you let me know when you uh, have just figured hang that out. here, okay? Uh, I need to sit down. My legs are okay, hurting me. Okay, you want to sit down right here? No, I don't want to sit on a curb. I'm 56 years old. Would you like to lean up against the car? No, I'm going to go sit in a chair right over there. Okay. Okay? All then right, you come get over, me if you have any, any issues. You like Frank Bassey? I don't know Frank Bassey. You don't know Frank Bassey? Okay, well... Frank Bassey is one of the people who has a restraining order against you. Well, that's interesting since I didn't know Frank ex Bassey existed. Okay. What's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Havlick. My badge number is 4911. Thank you. Easy to remember. 4911. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. You got a lucky draw on that I did, one. I got lucky. Easy to remember. And then uh, Nicole Piazza, do you know who that is? I have no idea who that is. Well, she also has a restraining order against you. Since I don't even know who these people are, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. People oh. see, people seem to be very offended about recording in public. You guys have had to get used to it for a long time. Well, we do it too, so. You're doing a good That's job. A you're recording, and you're recording us, and we're recording you, and lawyers haven't quite come up to speed with being comfortable with recording. Hello, officer, what's hey, your name? Doing? Officer Hitomi, badge 4498. <laughs> Say it slower, I'm old. Officer Hisatomi, badge 4498. Hisatomi? Yes, ma'am. And four, say it slow. Four, four, nine, eight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, is she aware of the terms of the restraining orders that are against her? Nope. Uh, not the terms. I haven't been able to read them out. They're just the okay. people that so are protected. Okay. So they're wanting her off the property. Okay. Um, 
the one to be, you know, press charge for trespassing would be B. Okay. Okay. So. My lawyer's office is here, right over there. I have a lawyer that's in this building. I used to be a client of that building. And so who's making a restraining order? Because I don't think the whole property can make a restraining well, so order. You have four restraining orders against you right wow, now. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. People are really unhappy with me recording in public. I. I don't know the backstory to what's going on. Well, I don't know okay. any of the names that Who's, he just said. What, what attorney do you see here? I do not disclose who my attorneys are, and it's really inappropriate to ask somebody who they're represented by if it's not a matter of public record. One of the issues that I first noted when I started to meet the First Amendment auditors was that they all needed lawyers. This was sent to me by someone from the auditing community, and they are right. Before you go out auditing, you better have a lawyer. Okay. Um... So they're wanting you off the property? Okay. Who's they? The people in this building. They lease that, that office yes. so they can keep me out of that office, not this entire complex. Well, so the parking lot is their property too. Really? Okay. They, really? That's in the lease? Have you seen their lease? Well, I have, I'm not seen the lease agreement, okay? Okay. Well, I'm happy to go. Okay. Uh, can you, I mean, just go to the sidewalk? You can record from the sidewalk or more than... Certainly. Be it. happy to. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Uh, would you like us to read the terms of your uh, trade orders to you so you're aware of them? No, because he just said names I don't even know, but I'll go look it up at the court. How's that? Okay, cool. You can do that. Thank you. Have a good one, Susan. By the way, you guys, just to let you know, police officers had to get used to recording in public. And you know what that was like. You don't like it. You don't like being put up on YouTube. It's a drag, and you just have to do it. Lawyers aren't quite used to that. They don't understand the law, and so... We're about educating the lawyers on the law because they don't seem to understand it. I'm not doing anything bad. I'm not a threat. And you just said I hadn't even been served with those restraining orders, so I couldn't possibly be violating one. Great. Right. That's why we're here. We're just here because someone called. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. I get a lot of calls for recording in public. And guess what? You guys get a lot of calls when I am recording in public. I, this is the first time we've contacted yeah, you. So. I've never met you before, so. Well, if you look through the doc, the, I have uh, some good ones on uh, YouTube. There's been some nice police officers. Okay. And right. they even know about the state bar. Do you guys know about the state bar? As an organization? Yeah. Do you know that it's like the internal affairs for attorneys? Mm -hmm. So my job is to educate people on how we, how we report attorney misconduct. But when you ask me who my attorney was, if my attorney is not an attorney of record, that's confidential information because people may consult an attorney for a lot of reasons for and sure. nobody has a right to know who they're doing sure. that with. I was just trying to clarify, you know, to see. I know. And I'm just here. trying to keep the questions really clear so that people can keep okay. their privacy and we all know what we're doing in our job. Okay. okay? Yeah. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you, it. You guys are great. Take care. Thank you. You guys will give me no YouTube views today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But guess what? Those lawyers will and the voting office lady's going to today. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. For those of you who will ask why I didn't stay and continue to exert my rights about the right to record in public that day, it wasn't necessary. I already had all the information I needed. I had had the sources, the tips, the public records, and I had the benefit of my own records from my own divorce case that completed my investigation that I hope will lead to an indictment. And so when I had everything I needed,